Okay, so you know how all this time I've been telling you about how Vim is incredible and amazing? This is one of the reasons why. So get ready. You're going to be... I was. Once again, we are inside the terminal and we'll enter into a file that I made already. Once again, it says, Harry abhors Harry horses. To that I ask, what other kinds are there? He also helps the homeless. What I'm going to tell you about is something called inline search, which will radically change your life because it did mine. Uh, this is all about when you're inside of a line, searching for any character and going directly to it. And oftentimes it costs you about two keystrokes to do it. It's nothing. So let me show you, for instance. We're here at the start of the line, and say we want to go to the next occurrence of the letter H, right? We can hit F to find within that line, uh, and then we hit the character we want, right? So F, H, and there you see it went to the H in abhors, right? We can then keep going. We can keep jumping to the next occurrence and the next and the next by hitting semicolon. So you can hit semicolon, semicolon, and you see it jumps once and again, once again. If we hit it again, it goes to each one. But you see, once we hit the end of the line, if we hit semicolon again, it beeps at me because it only stays within the line. Uh, also, if you want to search backwards the opposite way, you can hit comma to do that. So you see it went from the H that was in there to the H that's in other. Now, uh, that was probably backwards for you since, you know, we're mirrored images, whatever. Um, let's see. <clears throat> so this might be kind of difficult to remember, you know, comma to go forward. Uh, oh, sorry, a semicolon to go forward, comma to go backwards. The way I kind of remember it is that if you look at your keyboard, well, at least when I look at mine, I don't know if you, we have the same keyboards, I assume. I don't know what language you speak, but uh, whenever I look at my keyboard, the semicolon is further to the right than the comma is, right? So if you press the button that's on the right, it'll go further right inside the line, um, and vice versa with comma. Now, uh, there, this can be incredibly, incredibly useful for when you are inside a visual mode and you want to, um, you want to highlight some stuff, right? So let's see, we'll enter visual mode by pressing V, you know this, and say for instance, we want to highlight everything up to that comma that's there after to that, I ask in this line, we can just hit F comma and boom, there it goes. We can then yank it with, with Y hit shift A to go to the end, hit enter to go to the next line, escape, and then paste. And there we have it. When before you might have had to go and highlight it with your mouse and everything, we have already beat the mouse's speed with our keys and our magic. So <laughs> this uh, is incredibly, incredibly helpful. I use it all the time. Uh, there's one more thing I want to tell you about though. You can go to an occurrence of a character that you're searching for with F. You can also go up until the letter that's right before it by using T. Think of T like until or till. Uh, so if we're in visual mode here, press V, uh, we can go up until that next comma there by pressing T comma. And that'll take us right up to that comma, but not highlight it. So that can also be useful for other things. So keep that in mind. Anyway, you are breaking the sound barrier here. This, this crap, I use it multiple times a minute, and it will save you years, years of your life, believe me. Anyway, enjoy.